Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of 12 Days of Christmas. I'm so glad you could join me. Um, we will make another card tonight. And I can't wait to show you how that looks. I'm just getting my comments up here and wait for a couple minutes while people hop on. That will be awesome. My hair looks a little funky here. So I'm trying to do it different ways for the wedding and this, this isn't one of the ways, but what I tried to do this morning did not work. So this is what I ended up with and it looks like it's all like craziness. Anyway, um, tonight we are going to be using the Peaceful Season um, bundle out of the mini catalog. It is so beautiful. And we're going to make a Christmas card with, with not such a traditional Christmas color, like red or green. But it will be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to wait a couple minutes and see if anyone pops on. Probably one minute. And then um, I'll get started. So did everyone have a good weekend? I had a wonderful weekend. Um, today has been rainy and cold. But it is still beautiful. Uh, we need the rain so bad. Um, I'm sure Florida and South Carolina or North Carolina do not agree with that. But here in Michigan, yes, we need the rain. So, um, hello, Lisa. How are you? Glad you hopped on. So, uh, this week, um, we've got the 12 Days of Christmas going on this week. And... Um, the starter special is still going on, starter kit special, and uh, up to 30% off on the starter kits. So don't forget those. Today is the last day of my ordering special, which is um, when you place a minimum $40 order, I'm going to send to you five beautiful handmade cards and 20 pieces of 6x6 six six designer series paper free to you in celebration of my four-year stamp anniversary. I can't believe I've been doing this for four years already. I've been making cards for over 20, but I actually um, tried to start it as a business four years ago. So we'll see how that goes. We'll keep plugging away. So I'm going to point you to my work surface and we will get started. I received a gorgeous card from you today. Love it. Oh, you're welcome. You are so welcome. All right. So I think we have everything lined up. Add a little more light to the subject. So as I said, we're going to use the Peaceful Season stamp set. We're going to use this stamp. Um, friends and family are the... <laughs> are the true gift of Christmas. And they really are. Um, you know, as you get older, things just don't matter anymore. You know, things are just things. Yes, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of fun to open a present on Christmas morning. But in at my stage of life, I that um, is not a priority. Priority to me is being with my family. And then we're also going to use this Christmas, not the stamp, but the dies. So we'll show you how to do that. And then we also are going to use, um, I wanted to use this tree here specifically. So it's this tree in the Peaceful Evergreen bundle and that die. However, I do not own this set. So I went to my stash and said, okay, what can I use for a Christmas tree? And it had to be a pretty good size and 
it had I had to be able to cut it out or use a die. So I have Christmas lights stamp set, this tree specifically, and then the dies, the twinkling lights. This was before they named the stamp set and the dies the same name. Um, that was a wonderful thing that they started doing. I just want to say that. Um, so this is a retired set. So um, it's not available anymore, but I had to use, I had to have a big tree. So that's what I came up with. And we are also going to use the painted trees 3D embossing folder. This is absolutely gorgeous. If you have not seen it or used it, it is absolutely wonderful. So we're going to use that too. All right. Um, and then we have these uh, sparkle gems. And there's gold, silver, and black. So the... I'm going to set that aside. Um, the black actually look really good for Halloween. And so do the white or the silver. Um, well, I guess gold could too, but gold is really pretty for the project we're going to make tonight. All right. So as for paper, we need a scrap piece of white for the tree. We need the red a scrap piece of, this is actually cherry cobbler for um, the Christmas, the word Christmas. Two sheets of basic white that are four inches by five and a quarter. One's going to go on the inside of the card and one's going on the outside of the card. I need a scrap piece of gold foil for the star on the tree. We're going to use pretty peacock for the card base. Not a traditional uh, Christmas card or Christmas color, but it's going to be beautiful. And then this piece of paper comes out of the Season of Elegance paper, and it has the Pretty Peacock, Old or uh, Mossy Meadow, Cherry Cobbler, uh, da, 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 Lost Lagoon, Old Elf, Pretty Peacock, Real Red, Basic Beige. So there are quite, quite a few that you can use in here. There's the ba Basic Beige that is beautiful. Yep. So this is a wonderful pack to have, to have an, an elegant... Um, Christmas card. Okay, I'm going to set some of these pieces aside and start with my card base. So I'm going to bring my paper trimmer over and I'm going to cut it at five. Nope. I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. We're going to do a card that flips up from top to bottom. Bottom to top. Bottom. This is a piece you can save for another card sometime. And then I'm going to score it at five and a half. Okay. I'm going to fold that in half. Now we need a piece, and this is really crazy. Um, I want a lot of that gold in it. So let me see. Okay. I'm going to use this side. I'm going to cut it at four inches. I'm really hacking into this paper. But, you know, depending on what you want on the page, you got you got to sometimes do that, you know? And then I want this to be, um, I think it's two inches. I think, think, think it's two inches. Let me see. Yes, two inches. I don't know why I doubted myself, but I did. Because you're supposed to measure twice and cut once, right? Right? I think so. I think that's the plan. All right. 
going to set that aside. I'm going to take a bone folder and burnish that really well. I'm just going to set that down. And then I'm going to bring my two pieces of white over that are four by five and a quarter. I'm going to set one aside and I'm going to take another one. I'm going to go into my stamp set and I'm going to get, oh, I know a trick. So I was mentioned on my live, uh, maybe it was a couple weeks ago. My friend Carol has all these tr tricks and tips and she was rattling off, rattling them off at the retreat all weekend long. I said, oh, I'm going to re remember that. And I'm going to tell my, my viewers that, um, about that trick and I'm going to give you credit for it. Well, then I went to say some of them when I got back from the retreat on my lives and I could, could not remember any of them for the life of me. But one that she said, so, um, typically, let me, let me show you. So Typically, you take all your stamps off the acetate, sheet of acetate and you put it on your mm -hmm, case like so, okay? And I, I won't do all of them, but you get the idea. So this is this would all be full of your um, these stamps. Well, then I have my dies here, and I went to close it. She says, "Oh, don't do that, because your dies are facing up, so that the sharp edge is facing up. So if you put that on your photopolymer stamps, you could ruin the image of the stamp." I'm like, I never thought about that. She said, always store it so the waxy side is down and it protects your stamps. And then the dies are up and then like that. I'm like, good to know. I never thought about that, but it makes perfect sense. So if you have your stamps here and you put your dies on top of it, it could cut that that stamp and it would ruin your image. So I'm gonna put the acetate down or acetate faced up, the stamps down, and then that like so. I also want to take that out and that out. Um yep. Okay. We're going to use pretty peacock ink. Let me know if you knew that tip already. I did not. And I'm telling you, she was rattling them off all weekend long. I should have wrote them down. Friends and family are the true gift of Christmas. And I'm just going to eyeball it. It's a little tilted, but that's okay. Just cock your head or, tr or make the card not straight on, and you won't know the difference. Uh, this weekend, um, or Friday, when I went stamping with some friends and we made um, cards for seniors, uh, the uh, they had a stamparatus out. And I have to be honest, I own one, but I do not use it very often. Um, a matter of fact, I think I've used it for two specific projects the whole time I've ever owned it. And um, they use it all the time. And I was watching how they were using it. And then I actually used it. And I'm like, it is a game changer when you're embossing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because sometimes you don't get enough. Versamark ink on your cardstock, so then you want to ink it again. Well, to line it up is near impossible, um, but with a Stamparatus, it's not. So I'm using my glue gun. Glue gun is that what it's called? Um, from my sweet petunia. 
a very dear friend gifted this to me. I am so appreciative. It's got a really fine tip. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's a gun, so you just squeeze it and your your glue comes out. Not a lot, but and you know exactly what you need. And then it has this base, and you just like that, and it just sits to the side, and you have no problem. It's out of your way. And it's right there when you need it. So I'm just lining this up. Left to right, top to bottom. Uh, and it is uh, the green glue, the Tombow glue that is inside it. Um, so you can just fill it with um, your Tombow glue. Okay, so the inside's done. I'm going to set that aside. Okay. Now I want to take the other piece of four by five and a quarter white cardstock, and I'm going to emboss it. I am using the Painted Trees embossing folder, and I specifically want the two taller trees, but I want it, uh, I want it, um, pretty far up. Like so, okay? So there's three trees, but I'm only going to get two of them in there. And then I'm going to bring in my big stamp and cut and emboss machine. I have the number one platform base, and then the number four thick gray uh, yeah what do you call that board plate 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 I have to make some room here and then I'm just cranking it through so I, I moved this machine over to my table or by my table so I could use it so that when I used it I wouldn't shake the camera because I was feeling so bad when I was doing that. That is not a good thing. All right. And then we have this beautiful embossed piece of cardstock. That in itself, you know, just, and just a little saying up here. And maybe some gems. That alone would be beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. And that's the deboss side which I love that too. It is so beautiful. Okay, we're done with that. I'm gonna put that aside. Now we can glue this down to the front of this card. And yes, it is getting glued down flat, not with dimensionals or anything. I'm using my glue gun again. I don't know that it's called glue gun. I really don't. Lisa, what's the name of this thing? I know you know. But it's from Sweet Petunia, if ever you want to get one. Um, it is not a Stampin' Up! product, but it definitely does help when you're trying to put glue. And you'll see when we put glue on the word Christmas, um, that how well that comes into play. All right, we're going to set that aside. Actually, we're going to take our two inch by four inch piece and we're going to put that right down there. We can do that too right now. Yep. So I'm just going around the edge. Okay. You guys, see what little bit of glue I'm using on that? That's all you need. Do not get heavy handed with the glue. You do, it does not require a lot on any card. That will hold it, I'm telling you. Okay, now I'm gonna set it aside. Okay, my next piece that I have here is uh, Cherry Cobbler. So I am going to do 
um, the cutting of the word Christmas. So I'm going to bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine again. Now this would fit in the mini if you went this way. So you could use your mini on that, your mini cut and emboss machine. Um, but because I have this right here, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this. And then the word Christmas, and I'm going to put that up there like that. Put on my plate number three. And then run it through. And I'm just going to go back like that instead of running all the way through because that was a whole lot faster and easier. All right. That S wants to. And then I need a piece of gold. And I'm seeing if I have a scrap that's big enough. It does not look like it. I did have one yesterday. but not today. So. I'm just cutting a strip of gold. And it's gold foil. So wonderful. And the, um, Online exclusives, they do have a pack of silver and gold foil paper. So you get the silver and the gold in the same package. And I think it's like three sheets of each. So um, that's good to know. Okay, I'm all the way through. I'm gonna go back through because if, you, if I went all the way through, it would crease this foil right here and I don't want to crease in it. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but um, I just, that's a pretty long strip to waste. So I'm gonna save that, and I've got that. And then while I'm here, I'm going to take, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. I'm going to take my scrap piece of basic white and I'm going to grab my Christmas tree. And again, if you have, if you have the Peaceful Evergreen bundle, it's that tree there. I would definitely use this tree. There is also one from last year that is still current. Um, I forget the name of it. I don't have that one either. Um, that one will work as well. But you want you want a beautiful tree. And it has to be on the larger size. Okay. Now I'm going to... Do I want to stamp it in... I don't think I want to stamp it in Pretty Peacock. I'm going out on a limb and I'm going to use Mossy Meadow. Um, just because I think a tree needs to be green. At least a Christmas tree. Okay, I'm just tap, tap, tapping. I've got enough in it. Now look, see I've got it all around the edge. So when I stamp it on here, I want to make sure I do not rock it. Now, I could clean all that edge off, but I do not want to take the time to do that. And there you go. So I did not rock it. Otherwise, I would have had that whole shadow around there. But isn't that a beautiful tree? I love it. All right. Now I'm going to take my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Rubber stamp cleaner. Ah, I can't. There it is. 
and my mist, which is a cleaner. I wet on one side, dry on the other. And this cleans the red rubber and it conditions it. So I wash it and now I'm drying it. And there you go. It's all ready to be put back in the case. And we're good with that. And then I want the dyes because there is a tree dye that cuts that out. You could fussy cut it. That is not out of the question. But why fussy cut when you can just use the dye? Punches are even good if you had a punch. But um, there's no punch that's that big. Okay, I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to put my other plate three acrylic plate on there and I'm just going to run it through. All right, Let's set this down. I think we might be done with that. I'm going to put this die back. So report on my craft room. Um, I have been doing a lot of designing and cutting and all that. Um, of course, I have my um, 12 days of live started. And I, I am happy to say when I am done with a project, I am putting stuff back where it belongs right away. So that's good. All right. Um, you could say that because there are some pretty big pieces there for white, but um, I'm not saving it because I have way too much scraps. I actually just gave a huge box of scraps away to a friend today after church. The designer paper and embossed. I know, Lisa, th this paper is, is just, it's, you know, the gold just makes it pop. And on the opposite side is, is the same colors without the gold. So if you didn't want to be so fancy or regal, um, you could do it without the gold, but. I'm telling you, I'm all about that gold. Okay, I am going to take this word Christmas and I'm going to put my finger there on the C and then I'm going to just randomly put dots. See how this works perfect for this project. And I don't have it everywhere. I just have it where I want it. And then I put it right back in the case. I don't have to put the cap on. I'm just, it's all good. Then I'm going to bring the shadow, the gold shadow. And put this on there. And you might have to work with it a little bit because those letters tend to like to spread out. And then I put a dot where the dot for the eye goes. And then I take my I actually want to flip that over. There, it flipped over. Yay. And then I'm taking the putty side, picking it up, 
and placing it down on the glue and then it, it left it. Love my take your pick tool. Love it. Love it. I never could figure out how it would work. You know, how does, how does it pick something up and then when you put on your paper, it releases it when it's putty. I don't know how it works, but it does. And once I used it, I am, I am sold. Okay. Now we're going to put the tree on here. And I want it so that it's, you know, the tree tops go down. Um, I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. Look, I have almost a brand new sheet of dimensionals. So cool. Oh, I did want, um, I need that scrap of gold. Scrap of gold. And I, I will just do my mini because it's just a little, little, little um, star. So in my Twinkling Lights dies, there is a star. And I, and I just dropped it. So I'm going to get... Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. My sister moved my magnetic wand. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Well, that's the next thing I'm going to find where she put, put it. Because I have to have my magnetic tray. And... Wand. I use it all the time for things exactly like that. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to find a place that has some, like that. Put my number two acrylic plate on there. Run it through. And I keep that because it's perfect for little stars like that. Some people would say, I, that's, there's not enough there. I'm just going to throw that away. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. Not with, not with foil paper. I love my foil paper. Okay. Then I'm going to punch her out. Put the die back in the case and then what did I just do with the star? I, pu I punched it out and okay, does anyone see my star? What did I do with it? Did I drop it? Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. It fell on my shirt. Whew. Okay, now I'm going to put a dot of glue on the tree. And I'm going to put the foil star on top. Like so. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is going to go across cross like so. So I want to put glue on this. I'm not going to pop it up again because I don't want to give it too too much dimension because then you got to um, pay extra postage and postage is expensive enough. So I want to put glue like from the R to the M on the back. So that's how I, that's how I did that. R to the M. And 
and I'm just going to, it's not wanting to, it's not wanting to adhere because there's a raised edge around that gold shadow. So I'll try it again here. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Not really. Well, yeah, I have a gas stove. So I guess that's, I guess that's technically correct. So, oh, oh, and then the gems. Cannot forget the gems. Gotta add sparkle. Oh, Christmas is all about sparkle too. All right. Use and take your pick tool again. I'm going to put one over here. here. A smaller one. Oh, I might have to. I might have to get some more of these for the gold ones. I really like them. And then one down here. All right, there is our card for tonight. Day two of the 12 days of Christmas is done. What do you think? I also have the same card in a cherry cobbler and in the mossy meadow. And actually the paper is old olive. Well, there's mossy meadow in it, but it's old olive as well. So those are the cards in three different colors. Same card, three different colors. And then I used the mossy meadow for the sentiment, the pretty peacock, and the cherry cobbler. Thank you, Lisa. So I hope you liked it. Um, if you missed last night's, you will want to go back and watch the replay. This was the card we did on day one. I'm going to point you back up to me. Hello. So thank you so much for hanging out with me um, and the replay. Remember, I have my um, ordering special going through midnight tonight. It's to celebrate my four-year stamp anniversary. And when you place a minimum order of $40, I will send you five beautiful handmade cards and um, 20 sheets of 6x6 six six designer series paper free to you in appreciation for supporting me and always showing up. So you guys have a wonderful evening and I hope you have a great start to your week tomorrow morning and you take care. Love you. Bye-bye.